Okay, in this video I'm going to get us started with our uh, work on the Arnett Creek geologic map digitizing. And so the first thing you need to do is pull down the files and get them organized on uh, your own computer, wherever that is, if it's uh, on your own desktop or in one of the, the computer labs. So here I am in our uh, Blackboard, and so I want to go into Content, and GIS, and then I'll click on the link to maps, and then open it. So in this case, I need to download two files. Uh, the, the first one is the zip file that has the uh, GIS data, the base layers for us. So just download it, and it's a big file, 143 megabytes, because I have the images in there, the aerial photography mostly just for your reference. Okay, once that's downloaded, then uh, go back and get your uh, file that's your map that I've scanned. And so everyone in the class is by your last name. Mine is over here. It's this 2015 HNRnet. So I just click on it and download it. And so once it's done, then I'm going to go to my downloads directory, which is where the files come in. You see there right there. And I'm going to I'm going to um, cut them from there and I'm just going to move them onto the desktop of my computer. And then here I'm going to make a new directory that's my Aerosmith Arnett mapping. And you can name this at, as you like. It's just to try to keep things organized. So once we get in here, we have to unzip that uh, folder of the base layer, so just extract it here. And then once that's done, you can delete the zip file to keep things tidy. So then, once you're in there, then go ahead and open up this uh, MXD file, the ARC project. And so now I can just give you a quick tour. So anyway, this you see the table of contents on the left here. It has the main layers, and so the top layer is this. Uh, basically, it's the contour map. It's called the DRG. And one thing you'll see when we do our georeferencing is that it's a little bit more of a modern topographic map. So it's not exactly the same as the topographic base map on which you guys mapped. Now, if I turn it off, you can see here the digital elevation model. I can get this little eye and click, for example, to see that the elevation on the top of, that was Pluck Turkey Hill, is 1,063 meters. So it's just a, kind of color-coded by elevation. And then if I turn that off, this is the uh, DOQQ, Digital Orthophoto Quarter Quad. These are aerial photographs at about, uh, I don't know, maybe one, uh, 50 centimeters or so resolution. The resolution is not great, but uh, you can see kind of the main areas. Uh, here's the area between um, Pluck Turkey. There's that first stop where we saw the Pioneer up in here's where we had lunch, coming down towards uh, South Parking, and so forth. 